All right, hey everyone. So this problem is gonna be long paths and what it's gonna do, it's gonna return a list of all the paths in the tree with at least length n. And by path, we mean like uh, a path that starts from the root node and ends at a leaf. And it'll make sense when we like give an example. So let's say we have the tree one, two, three, four, five, six. And let's say we call um, long paths of this tree, so t, and then 2. Well, we need to find every path that goes from like the root to the node to a leaf that has length 2 or greater. And so this counts as a path. This counts as a path because they all go to the uh, leaf and their length 2 or higher. But this path does not count because it's only length 1. And they might also think, why is 1 to 5 not a path? Well, it's length 2 or greater, but it doesn't end at a leaf, because like 5 is not a leaf. So we don't want to include that. And so a resulting value should be like a list of a bunch of linked lists. And note that these are linked lists, because like the graph, like the arrow 0 and 2. And like it says right here, we wanted a linked list of node values. So our answer might look something like, bracket one two four and bracket left arrow bracket whatever you call it one two five six and so yeah that's kind of an idea of like what this should do and let's let's try to figure out like how we want to approach this problem and so we know with like pretty much all tree recursion is that we might want to make a recursive call on the branches and so let's think about what our recursive call might look like. So let's say we make a recursive call right here. And so remember that we were like, we're kind of like recording the paths that we want. And so you might imagine we want to get out of this pass two, four and two, five, six. Cause the idea behind like paths in general for like any true problem is that we want to get some paths out of the, uh, what's it called? The recursive calls and we want to add the one back to it so the one is going to get inserted right here and the one is going to get inserted right here and that's going to get our the result that we want it's like one two four that's one path one two five six that's another path and so we have to think about like what our recursive call might be though and so notice how in the long pass call we have two parameters tree and n and so we might call long paths of some b but what is n well, we know that um, the final path that's contained has to contain this. It's like the connection between 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 5, 6. Because, you know, the any path has to start with the root and end with the leaf. And so the thing about that is that all we need is for any path in the recursive call to be only length 1 if, like, n was 2 at the very beginning. Because if anything is length, if all the paths here resulted by the recursive call are length one or greater, then if we add that like one to the beginning, like let's say we had like two, four, that's length one. If we add the one to the beginning, that's going to be length two. So any path that we take from the recursive call, when we add the one back in, it's going to be of length two or higher. And so that means we're going to have longest paths of B1. And so generalizing that, we're probably, if we had like some t n, a recursive call might be longest paths of b n minus 1. Because if the paths are length n minus 1 or higher, that means our when we add the 1 back in, the paths have to be length n. Yeah, and so keeping that in mind, let's dive into the problem. And so first of all, let's address the base case that we have. And so... For a base case to happen, we need to like address if it's like a valid path or not. So if it's a valid path, then we should be like returning like some certain value. And when do we want to start the path? Well, it says that it should end at a leaf. So let's start with maybe uh, if tree dot is leaf. And so if it is a leaf, and what do we want to do? Well, we want to check if the minimum depth n 
is less than or equal to zero. Because if n is one, and like we call it on maybe seven, then there are no paths that are going to be of length one or higher. Because like imagine you would have to have branches for there to be path of length one or higher. But if you have a length zero, just the seven by itself is going to be a valid path. So we will want to return that. So in that case, if it's a leaf and n is less than or equal to zero, the reason why I say if n is less than or equal to zero is that in the case of like, uh, let's say we call like, if n is less than or equal to zero, actually, never mind. If n is less, less than or equal to zero, that means we've already like exceeded the threshold, right? And we're going to result in a longer path than we need. And the reason behind that is like, let's say we have like one, two, three, and we call long paths of that tree and n equals zero. Well, the minimum path is n equals zero, and we make like a recursive call to like n minus one. It's like negative one right here, negative one right here. And so we know that we want to include like these two in our path. It's like we want it to become like one, two, and two, three. So if the path if n is negative one, that's saying the minimum path, like each path must be at least uh, length negative one. And if you might imagine, any path is going to be at least that length. So that's why we want to have n is less than or equal to zero. And if that is the case, then we want to return a list. And this is like slightly different from the solution, but it's like kind of the same thing. And so if it's a list, actually, Let's not do it that way. And so we have like a bunch of paths that we want to return, right? With our recursive calls. And so let's keep track of a path variable at the beginning. So path is like a list of paths that we want to keep track of. And so if it's a leaf and n is less than equal to zero, then we want to include that as a path. So we're going to go paths uh, append of a new link list of that certain value, so tree dot label. Yeah, that's gonna handle our base case. And then what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna go through each of the branches and make a recursive call of like long paths of b and minus one. So let's do that. So for b in tree dot branches, what do we wanna do? Well, we wanna make a recursive call to long paths of b n minus one. And remember that long paths of b minus one, n minus one is gonna like return a list of like a bunch of linked lists. Remember that if we wanna tack on like a current label. So let's say the current label is like one, we wanna tack on the one to each of these and add it to like our total paths. So if it was just like the linked list two, we want this to become one and two. And so that means we're gonna iterate through the recursive call. And so for p, in long paths of b and remember we want to decrement the length n minus one and well what do we want to do with that we want to add uh the label to the front of the link list and we can do this by doing paths dot pen link of that tree dot label and the rest of the linked list will be that path. And so now we have that handled where for each of the paths or each of the branches, we're gonna like insert the one like tree dot label into there, into the front of the list. And we're gonna add that to our total amount of paths. And then now we're gonna return all of our paths. And note one thing is that our base case is kind of handled so that if it's a leaf, then we're gonna add that path. And if it's a leaf, the tree dot branches is going to be an empty list. So it's gonna kind of skip that. And after that, we're gonna return paths. So our base case is kind of saying, uh, it's kind of implied and it's saying, if it's leaf and n is less than or equal to zero, then we're gonna return a list with like just that tree dot label right there. And yeah, that's kind of all of long paths.
This can get kind of confusing, so make sure to let me know if you have any questions about this. Yeah, have a great night.